Time now for a net check here on BON News. The Publicity Department of Yunnan Province has raised fears of a clampdown on press freedom with a plan to recruit volunteers to watch over media outlets and reporters. The Provincial Publicity Department advertised in several outlets, including the Yunnan Daily and Yunnan TV, hoping to recruit 100 volunteers for the supervisory work. According to media reports, one of the things the department wants to clamp down on is journalists being paid to report certain stories. The move has kicked up a storm of criticism among Internet users who question the role that those volunteers could play given the heavy influence the government already exerts here. BON researcher Kevin Jha has been following that reaction online and joins us now from the newsroom. Kevin, what's the majority view that you're seeing in terms of online reaction to this story? Well, it sparked big fears among Internet users about a clampdown on press freedom. Though the Yunnan Provincial Publicity Department explained that the aim is to improve media supervision and clamp down on commercial journalism, on truthful reporting and vulgarity in the media. Some people think that these problems stem from the fact that the public cannot speak out freely against abuses of power by journalists. And so journalists get away with more than they should. But here the difference is that when a journalist abuses his or her own power, it often goes unchecked and no one speaks out against it. And Kevin, what about people who support the plan? What are they saying? Actually, a few people think they can understand it and say it's more or less reasonable, but they're very much in the minority. They pointed out that fake news stories circulate quickly, which can harm some people or society in general. One commentator says the media should take responsibility for spreading fake news stories, such as the one about the woman whose vengeful ex-boyfriend said was a prostitute with HIV. The person adds that these media supervisors can more or less prevent these fake Tisha's reports from spreading. Thanks, Kevin. Well, James, it's certainly a widespread practice here in China where journalists do get paid to report stories. For example, during press conferences, journalists are often paid cash to, to do favorable news mm -hmm. report. It goes on a lot uh, yeah. among many journalists, uh, regardless of the medium they work in. It's known as Hongbao, or also right. Red Envelope, where they attend a certain press conference and there's a certain amount of cash in there. It remains to be seen, though, you know, uh, if, if these volunteer systems goes through, like you were talking about in Yunnan, exactly how that's going to be policed. Uh, these aren't exactly journalistic professors, mm. and uh, you know whether or you know what standards they'll use to sort of approve or disapprove of what the reporters are doing out there. Also bears mentioning as well that so many stories now that uh, surface in the Chinese media originate in the blogosphere. A lot right. of bloggers pick up little tidbits that they find online, right. and then they they get online, and often reporters pick them up as well. And volunteers simply aren't going to be able to re to uh, police that. Right. Stay tuned. We continue with Straight from the Street on BON News.